If you want to put together a simple comparative analysis, here's where you can start. I'll use your example of trying to compare three different education platforms or portals. The first thing that you want to do is just try to think about your own experiences and what you might already know. Think about those features, benefits, or any other data point that you may have seen along the way. For example, if you're thinking about those online education programs, you're probably thinking about the cost, the system requirements on your laptop, and how long it's probably going to take to get through. Now, in addition to what is obvious to you, there's probably going to be a bunch of things that are not so obvious. So this is where a little exploratory analysis can help you start to think about what other things should you put on your comparative list. To do this, you can take a look at one program, see what some of the key summary piece of information are, put that down on your list, and then go about and look for those same things on those other program sites. Now, once you've collected your ideas on what you might want to track, you can put that down in your Excel spreadsheet and start building out this matrix. You'll start by taking that matrix of questions that you have, and then you'll go out to a specific site and do a little bit of investigation. From there, you'll be able to fill in those blanks on all those attributes that you looked at, and then you'll do the same thing for the other two sites. So if you want an example of that, here's one that I ended up building out for my course package, comparing it to a couple others that a lot of people talk about. 